Welcome to the Hampton Inn Miami Airport East. We're going to show you room 509, which is a double queen bed. I've already unlocked it with my digital key on my cell phone, so let's check it out. I like the smell. It smells nice and fresh, so that's good. And we'll start off as we always do with the door. We've got the eye hole here uh, so you can see who's coming, but you can also cover it up so that light doesn't come in when you're trying to sleep. Evacuation route. After our experience at Park Royal London, I don't know that I would trust this. Check that video out. We'll have it linked in the description. There is a do not disturb sign, which I like. It's uh, time to sleep on one side and time to relax on the other. So, so either way is do not disturb, <laughs> whichever way you put it out. It's got the uh, deadbolt here and the secondary lock as well. Let's take a look at the uh, bathroom. We've got the uh, sliding door here, uh, otherwise known as a barn door. It's not a pocket door because it doesn't go into the wall. That's the difference between barn and pocket is where the door goes, if you care. And so you're going to see here a pretty standard Hampton Inn bathroom that you would encounter in North America. So we've got our Neutrogena soap. And there are two sizes. There is the smaller one for your hands and the bigger one for your body. And I like to put that in the shower so that I'm not mid-shower realizing I forgot the soap. There's a garbage can in there, which you can put your soap box in. And we've got a tray that comes out here with a hair dryer. Let's take a look at that hair dryer. So you're going to get a Con Air 1875 normal plug with a circuit breaker. Pretty standard Con Air, I think, is the brand that Hampton and Hilton has partnered with, similar with Neutrogena in North America for their toiletries. So you've got a couple of plugs here. This is a Hampton Inn, so we're going to have power all over the place. Ah, here, I like this. This is this you don't always get. Um, not only do you have your shampoo, your conditioner, this included bath gel, body lotion. So shampoo and conditioner and body lotion standard. Bath gel, not all the time. Here's the thing that you don't get all the time is the mouthwash. I love it when they have the mouthwash. You don't get that often enough as far as I'm concerned. Nice touch Hampton Inn. I appreciate it. You got your sink, Kleenex, lots of towels. Clearly we're post-pandemic because there's lots of towels. During the pandemic there were very few towels, so that's nice to see. Got another thing that pulls out here. Uh, I guess in case you want to eat or work on your laptop while on the john. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, maybe you should just need more counter space, but there's plenty here. Standard toilet, regular flush, so it doesn't have the two button, which I prefer, but that's okay. Nice, normal North American toilet. We just came in from Europe, so I appreciate that. Uh, toilet paper, some art there, and here's the tub, the shower head, where the water comes out very, very clean. We've got some rust up here, but that's just a cosmetic piece. So I'm fine with that, no worries there. Uh, standard controls, little shelf for your shampoo. There's the towel that you put down for your feet. It's got a grab bar. I like having a grab bar. Oh, there's like fingers, like indentations here. So you can get a really good grip. So uh, I like that just for safety, but also if you have accessibility needs, that grab bar, nice to have, glad it's there. So once again, is this art or something to hang your coat on? <laughs> Let us know in the comments. What do you think? Is this art or is it functional? I think it's a little bit of both. I think you could put your suit jacket here and maybe hang a bag there or whatever you like. Let's see what's on the other side of this door here. Uh, so again, that's the barn door style. And uh, so you got some hangers, you get the iron, uh, a rack for your luggage, which I appreciate. Not everywhere has those. I like those because I don't like putting my luggage on the bed because that is uh, a way to get the, the sheets dirty. That doesn't need to happen. It's got the ironing board and a form if you want dry cleaning service. So that's nice. All right, so let's go into the room here and see if I can find a light switch or source. All right. So yeah, let's check this out. Nice high ceiling. I appreciate that. I like that uh, quite a bit. So uh, you can probably hear an echo in my voice right now because it is quite spacious, which is nice, certainly in terms of altitude. Uh, not a lot of extra floor space, which if you're trying to squeeze in an extra person could be a challenge. Uh, we've got the air conditioning controls here, pretty standard, automatically set to 72, which I appreciate because in the lobby it was set to 75 and I was sweating parts of my body off. Uh, so that is much better than in the lobby. Got a couple of ottomans here with easy pull tabs. Those are on wheels, so they move quite nice. That can be quite useful, putting your luggage on, or if you need a table to eat off of or use your laptop, that can be handy. 
We got some power here. So again, you don't need to bring your Tron power cube if you're staying at a Hilton property because they got tons of power. There were the two plugs in the bathroom. There's two regular three prongs here and two USBs. So lots of power there. Got a pretty decent sized TV. It's a Samsung. I think the Samsung is probably partnered with Hampton as well. And we have an Avanti bar fridge. And I always go for the wrong side. <laughs> pretty good size there. That is a real fridge. <laughs> I uh, got a Avanti microwave here, and uh, as you can see by the time, they were gracious enough to let us in a little bit early. Uh, we arrived early from our cruise, and so thank you so much Hampton Inn for accommodating our request. We didn't have to wait too long to get in early. Uh, we checked in online in the app, and I do recommend using the app. It can make these things a little faster, a little easier, a little cheaper, because uh, we did not have to pay for early access to the room, although I am a gold member, so that might have taken care of it. Got an ice bucket there, so if, say, you need to ice your foot, there's a bag and there's a bucket. Or if you want to ice champagne or wine or what have you for a nice evening. And of course the coffee maker and uh, things for that. In here we've got, I've noticed these are becoming a little bit more common. We're even seeing these on the cruise ships, these little trays that come out. Not something I've ever really used, but it's there if it's useful to you. Let's check bedside. So we've got the two lights. We've got the standard alarm clock here with the snooze dimmer which I really appreciate, so you can control how much light is in the room when you're trying to sleep. It's a non-smoking room, obviously. And here's your standard phone uh, there as well. Of course, it's a Hilton property, so we've got two more three-prong plugs and two USBs bedside. Nice. Over here, we've got a little desk area, which a nice seat, garbage, a light with another plug, a mirror, and over here, you can see Two more three-prong plugs, two USBs, power all over the place. And so let's take a look at the view. We've got the blackout curtain here. Let's see if it's easy to... Oh, other side. I'm pulling the wrong thing or pulling it the wrong way? The wrong way. So, oh wow, there's like layers here. So that's layer one. <laughs> oh, wrong way again. Layer two, <laughs> and then layer three. There's every single time I pull it the wrong way without fail. I'm zero for three. All right. So now I've cracked the code to check out our view. We are near the airport, so if you look out the window to your right, you will see uh, some control towers from the Miami airport. So this is nice and close. There is a free shuttle to the airport included. Look for the orange bus uh, when you are wanting to board the shuttle. And we're right across from a Red Roof Inn Plus, Red Roof Plus, and you can even see their pool. Uh, and then that's just part of our parking lot there. So uh, one thing that we did see when we came in today is there was someone arguing at the front desk because their car had been broken into. And of course the hotel does not take responsibility for any damage that happens to a car parked in its lot because it's not, any, it's not much more secure than parking on the street. So I don't know if the hotel was cooperating to maybe provide surveillance footage or not. I couldn't say. The guest seemed upset. Um, the front desk person offered to call a manager and uh, that didn't seem to happen, but he seemed to leave. So I don't know what's happening there, but that is something to keep in mind that uh, don't leave valuables in your car when parking at this particular hotel, because we know of at least one instance of someone having their car broken into. So if you found this video useful, please give it a like. That helps other people find it. And let us know down below, are there any other kind of videos you want us to check out? Other hotels you'd like us to see? What do you think of this hotel? Would you be comfortable staying here? Would you be comfortable parking your car here? Very curious to know. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've got tons of videos, over 650 videos that include tips on how to save money so you can travel more, and hotel tours like this one. Also lots of cruising videos, because we're addicts when it comes to cruising. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.